so, look at all these edge routers. There's an edge router there, and there, and there, and here. Oh, looks like the screws might have came out of that guy. And you got an edge switch, and uh, then I've got my ubiquity lipstick there. Just kidding, it's not lipstick. Get a shot at the rack. Uh, this is being rebuilt there but uh what the video tonight about is about what the video tonight is about is uh you remember a couple of weeks uh, ago a few weeks ago before i got sick um we talked about the edge router and we talked about the memory that's on the inside of these guys so i thought what i do is since i've got one of each of these guys and by the way there's the uh, SFP version of the Edge Router X. There's also a USG, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to tear that guy apart. He's pretty good looking. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the Edge Router X. And one of the things you're gonna notice is there is no removable flash in this guy so this is the edge router x you can see it's rocking the new the new ubiquity logo there on the motherboard um but there is no uh flash that we can replace in this guy okay so then let's move on to the light So this is the edge router light. And so you've got your console port, ETH 0, uh, 1, and 2. And then over here you have, this is the USB flash drive that we talked about. And you can see it says edge router light there heat sink i'm not even going to pretend to know what all this stuff is i'm sure there are people out there who know exactly what it is and that's awesome when i need to know i'll ask you see there is uh this guy is 12 volts and then there's the ground lug so this is the light this is what's going on inside the light so if you have a light and it gets the flash gets corrupted you can uh, you can replace it that's a pretty nice looking little USB stick too by the way this is the first time that I've had these open so you can see I meticulously laid everything out so that I can put them back together then we have the edge router POE oh and I didn't see it yeah you can see this guy even though he's got the new nice square case it's still got the old ubiquity logo don't know when they um, cycle those out so I just purchased this POE earlier this year came directly from the ubiquity store but you can see that it's got a copyright date on the motherboard 2013. They probably produce millions of these things. Or hundreds of thousands at least. So you can see this guy uh, is a little different. You still got your console port. Then either 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. The same heat sink. And over here we've got that same re uh, flash storage that we can, that we can replace. Got some extra things going on on the motherboard with this guy, but of course, you know, we can do uh, passive PoE on all of the ports. You can see it's 2448 volt DC. There's the ground lug. And this is the 5 PoE. Then, you know, we talked about that my edge router showed up in a box with the 
this shroud on it that said Edge Router Pro and it had a picture of the SFPs. And we are missing the SFPs, so we're just calling this guy just an ER8. But here's something that's very interesting, I thought. First, let's crack the case open on this guy. I know that uh, some people think that these fans are a little loud, and, I, and so I've seen where people have replaced those to make this guy run a little quieter. Um, here's the uh, the power supply in that it's kind of nifty so it's like an external power supply that just got a Molex connector on the end I think that's a Molex somebody correct me if I'm wrong with uh, snaps on the motherboard but check this out so also I just ordered this this year still has the 2013 rocking the old logo but look at this edge router pro no SFP so I don't have the SFP version handy here, uh, but I'm going to assume that the motherboard looks pretty close, except it's got SFPs on the other one. So this on the top side does not have the flash memory. There's the USB console, then, you know, ETH 0 through 7. We've got some DDR3, that's 2 gig of RAM, right there. I don't know, let's see, I have to look it up. I don't know which of these chips is flash storage and which one is, uh... oh, wait a minute. So there, I don't know if you can read this, but this chip right here says SanDisk. And it looks like a 4 gig. I am guessing that that's uh, 4 gig of onboard storage. But just to see what we can do is we'll um, let's see if we can tip this guy up. Get a peek underneath. And... Yep, I'm not seeing anything hanging underneath there, so I'm going to say that that is probably the flash storage. So you've got 4 gig there. Not 100% sure what we can do with this, but um, this runs Linux. You know, Edge OS is uh, Linux based, so we could likely figure out how to access this USB port. And I'm sure somebody else has already done it. So. That's a look at the internals of the edge routers. Maybe I'll get brave and I'll crack open the USG, but the problem is with this guy, there's no external screws and I'm betting, I'm betting your paycheck that uh, they might be under these feet. Could be wrong. Somebody let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm right. Oh, uh, that Cisco. We could open that thing all day long. Yeah. But uh, that's it for now. Uh, maybe one of these days we'll take a look inside of, uh, of an edge switch um, and see what's going on with that. But uh, I hope this satisfies any curiosity about the internals. Uh, next week we will have more tutorials. I'm getting all kinds of requests about all kinds of videos so uh, next week there will be a tutorial so if you like the video please give a thumbs up please subscribe please share and comment and I will see you next week